Now is the time of harvest. Cast out your nets. Revival is upon the earth. God is pouring out his spirit on all flesh. Jesus said this gospel must be preached to all mankind and then the end will come. A fun way to just mess with people a little bit. Most important thing we can do when we're out and about in church especially as we're starting to develop this new habit pattern of being friendly is just to smile. <laughs> we're not to be passing one another like we're in a shopping mall. We are family. You're my brother. You're my sister. If you had a family reunion with your actual blood relatives and you didn't know maybe some of your cousins or whatnot, you wouldn't feel embarrassed to just go up and say, hey, your, your dad is my Uncle George or whatever, and just start a conversation and get to know them. It's the same way for us in the family of God. We just didn't know uh, to think about doing that. And so let's mix it up and start doing it. Here's some questions you could ask some people, just some kind of things that will help you think about this. You could ask them, well, what kind of things do you enjoy doing? Or where do you work? Or what kind of work do you do? Or did you have a good week? Now, sometimes that's a good question because as people share that with you, as they begin their little tirade, you can say, you know, can I pray with you right now about that? Let's just give that to Jesus. And, and I'm just going to agree with you on that. Man, that is so freeing to people. It's just a wonderful thing. That's what they're looking for is somebody to care. What was the best thing that happened this week to you? I love to ask that question. Sometimes people really have to stop and think long and hard. Did something good happen to me this week? And so it's a good thing to generate those kind of questions. Well, uh, another thing you could ask them is, um, did you see some particular sports program or TV program or a movie or whatever that might be the current buzz thing and just see if they saw it and just begin to have conversation about that. So those are kind of things you could ask. A few more questions. How did you two meet? Uh, I love to ask that question when I notice a, a couple sitting next to each other and as I begin to talk and get their names and I'll ask, how did you meet? And I've seen the actual healing take place in relationships a couple of times when I've done this, literally, because they're sitting there stiff, you know, waiting for church to start. And as I come up and talk to them, then they start smiling and talking to me. And then I say, how did you guys meet? Well, then they look at each other kind of shy and bashful-like look with this little look in their eyes and a little twinkle sometimes. And then they start telling me the story. As they're telling me the story, they fall in love with each other all over again. And the next thing I notice, they start holding hands. <laughs> and it just brings back some really warm ambiance type feeling into their lives that they had just gotten forgotten about. So it's just really fun that we can help people um, rekindle that first love. Another thing, if I can tell from my questions and so on that they do have church experience or something, I could ask them, when did you come to know Jesus? And again, the same thing happens as they're retelling how they found to know Jesus as their Savior. They just fall in love all over again with him. You can't tell about your experience of finding Christ without just woo, coming alive. So that's a wonderful thing before church to talk to people about. Uh, did you have a good week? Just tell me about yourself. Uh, let's get acquainted. What's your favorite meal? That's an awesome, good question to ask guys. They're always into food <laughs> where the best steakhouse is or whatever. So that's a good question for guys. Uh, you can always ask about the weather. I mean, there's always that. All right. And I want you to take about three or four minutes whether this is a church service or it's a teaching class or whatever. And I want you to just sit with some people you don't know. Get with uh, one or two people, a groups of three, uh, no more than three or four at the max, because I want you to just be able to ask questions. What I want you to do is have a facilitator in the group, and that person can ask the other people in the group, whether it's another one, two, or three people, any questions they want to know. Just get to know each other. And then uh, whoever's facilitating, they'll call time in a couple minutes. And then uh, someone else in the group be the facilitator, and they can ask the group any questions they would like to know. And just take some time to do this. You'll be amazed at all the wonderful things you're going to learn about one another and the new friendships that can develop right out of that group. But you got to go with people that you don't already know. Don't sit with your friends. Sit with somebody else and just mix around in the room. Get up and go do it and have some fun and watch for the buzz that takes place in the room while you're all doing that. It's awesome. When you finish with that little exercise, come back and we'll carry on with a few more things on. Reach out. We look forward to working together to advance God's kingdom in this hour of harvest. <laughs>